I have been working on upgrading and building out my lab to support my videos. Uh, in the process of doing so, I purchased two Intel X520-DA2 uh, 10 gig network cards uh, for my Dell R720 and Dell R730 VMware hosts. Uh, these cards will connect my host to my storage network that I'm in the process of building out. Unfortunately, adding these cards to my host made the systems almost unbearable noise-wise. Uh, both Dells ramped their fans up, not to full speed, but much louder than normal, enough where I was highly frustrated and debated why I even had servers in my office. Uh, their normal noise output does not bother me, uh, but the full-on jet engine uh, sound, that, that's a different story. Uh, upon investigating, there is a solution. Uh, this solution should work with all 12th and 13th gen Dell servers. I tested on both my R720 and R730 with identical results. Uh, when adding in a third-party card, such as a network card or graphics card, if it's not a Dell-branded card, it may cause the fans to ramp. Uh, in my case, I added an Intel X520DA2 10 gig network card to each of my hosts. Uh, I could have bought a Dell-branded card, uh, but I got a good price on these Intel cards. Uh, also, if you haven't checked out my brand new Instagram, at ACH underscore sysadmin, please give it a follow. I have lots of pictures of my lab, hardware, and projects that I'm working on. I'll also post a write-up for this video on my blog, achubbard.com. First, you'll log into the, the web interface of your Dell iDRAG. Uh, once we are in here, uh, we're going to go over to iDRAG settings and expand this, and we're going to go down to network. We need to enable uh, IP, IPMI uh, over LAN. Now, I have already done this, um, but you can see... So you'll scroll down to find IPMI settings, and you'll click this checkbox. Um, the rest I've left the default. And then you'll click Apply, navigate to Dell's website, and we're going to download the Dell OpenManage BMC Utility uh, version 8.0.1. And we are going to click Download. And we'll run through the installer. Uh, it's a pretty basic installer. We'll open it up. Uh, we're going to unzip it to see open manage. So click unzip. It's going to say 243 files unzip successfully. Click OK. And we can close out of this. We will open up our C drive. So we can go to this PC, local disk C, and then find the open manage folder. We'll then execute the bmc.msi file. Um, pretty much accept the default, so click Next. Uh, accept the uh, software license agreement, click Next. Uh, leave it uh, as the default path and install. And let it install and then click Finish. You can use either PowerShell or Command Prompt to run the IPMI tool. However, there is a su one subtle difference when using one over the other. Uh, instead of just calling out the IPMI tool, uh, like in Command Prompt, to use PowerShell, uh, you'll need to add a dot backslash before you type IPMI tool um, to the commands to use them in PowerShell. Uh, otherwise, they operate exactly the same regardless of whether you use PowerShell or Command Prompt. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using PowerShell. Open up PowerShell. I'll drag this over here so you can see it and make it bigger. We're going to do a CD backslash, and then we are going to do a CD to program files x86 dell backslash sys mgt and then bmc. I want to check and see what the current cooling profile is set to on my R730. So I'm going to take this command and this IPMI tool command and paste it here. I'll show you. So this is the dot backslash that I was referencing earlier on in the video. Uh, these commands that I'm going to show you are all the same uh, if you're running it in command prompt, with the exception you don't need this dot backslash. You can just call the IPMI tool. Uh, we're going to put our host, so that's the IP address of my iDRAC, and then I have a demo username and password. And there we go. So we can currently see uh, that I received the hex response of 1605000. Uh, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, which means 
uh, that the cooling profile is disabled, the fans are not ramping up, and it's quiet. Um, if you were to not have this one here, it would mean that the cooling profile for third-party cards was enabled and the fans would be louder. So I have my camera and my microphone over at my R730. Um, we're going to paste this command so it enables the cooling profile and you should be able to hear the fans ramp up. Hopefully the camera mic picks up on that, but they just ramped up. Now, if you were in a data center, this likely wouldn't be noticeable, but since we're not in a data center, quiet is good. <laughs> Let's check our status again here um, so we can see that, see the difference in the output. See up here, uh, you can see the zero one, and down here, it's zero zero in that uh, section there. So now you should hear my R730 quiet down. The fans will ramp down. And there we go. It just got quiet again. And we can check to verify the output now that the fans have ramped down. And you can see we're back to disabled with this zero one here. Hopefully this has helped you quiet down your noisy Dell server. Uh, I love my Dell servers, but I love a quiet office even more. <laughs> um, again, you can use either PowerShell or Command Prompt for this. Uh, just make sure you note the difference in commands with PowerShell having the dot backslash. Uh, you don't need to use that in Command Prompt. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider giving it a like below. Also, if you haven't checked out my new Instagram at ACH underscore sysadmin, please consider giving it a follow. Uh, I have lots of pictures of my lab and projects that I'm working on.